your feet in the air and your head on the ground Try this trick, spin it There's nothing in it. You ask yourself, where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Alright, here's my desktop steam boiler. The main parts of it are the boiler, the fill valve, and the fuel tubing, which runs to the main shutoff valve, which then runs through the little radiator core and then spits it back into the little infuser cup. Uh, the little copper cap here so contains the fuel for it. Right now I'm running, running it on rubbing alcohol, but um, any kind of fuel would work. I tried it on white gas, which is Napatha, but it's just a little bit too intense and smokes a little too bad. Amazingly, rubbing alcohol burns better. Right now, this is 99.99% uh, .99 pure um, denatured alcohol, and it burns, as you can see from the video, um, really wildly, and it flames a lot, but it looks cooler. But the rubbing alcohol actually burns better because it burns a little bit cooler, and it burns with less soot, and it brings the boiler to a better temperature. It's not so wild. Um, so once you light that, it slid underneath the boiler. Um, the steam will come up here. If the valve is closed, right now it's open, but if the valve was shut, I found out that this um, tubing will pop off of this copper fitting at about 50 PSI. So even if I were to forget to turn the valve on and left it all set together or left it set shut, um, the valve would pop off at 50 psi and the tank wouldn't rupture or anything. So it's kind of an added safety feature since I don't have a safety valve on this. The top screw is just a simple um, little brass fitting that heats up and gets tight. Um, this is just so I can add water to the main boiler. Um, so I add the water to the boiler and then put the cap back on. It's all sealed off nice and airtight and the steam will flow through the channels. Uh, I used a rubber fit or a, another fuel fitting on this side to couple the little um, heat transfer core to the main valve. This way I can pop this thing off and I can use it for uh, whatever else I want to use for if I want to make a little steam engine or what I really want to make is a nice little steam turbine. So I can pop it right off and I can put a steam turbine on here and then I can just re-plumb it right into the valve here without having to take the whole unit apart. I also just wired the valve to the base to make taking it on and off easier. I'll eventually probably fix it with, with some nice uh, brass screws like these. And uh, But for right now, this works well, just to see if this worked. Uh, this works really good, you pour your water, whatever you want there. I cut it down, a little bit of water, and then I'll put a few drops of whatever kind of smell I want in the air. Um, it'll bring this up from about, whatever, room temperature, 22 degrees Celsius or so. It'll bring it up to about 60-ish. Um, degrees Celsius within just a few minutes from the steam circulating. Even, even though there's very little contact between the uh, canister and the tube, it still works extremely well. And then any excess water, since this is going to steam is going to start condensing in here, gets spit out here and then falls right back into the tank. So it's self-contained; it doesn't leave a mess. I didn't have the tube just exiting out the side, but it was making uh, a big or leaving water all around, which was seeping underneath the wood. So I just exhausted it back into the tank, and it works perfectly. And now once it once it gets up to full boil and the steam is running through here, it, it circulates the steam in here as well, and then this comes up from the video as you can see, which helps to bring the uh, scent into the air. 
are basically the most dangerous way to get a uh, smell into the air. Um, that's about all there is to it. So, hope you like it.